Wow, that was an exciting intro. Thanks, guys, for stepping up and helping me with that. Uh, that was really exciting. And welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone. I'm so excited to the B-Movie Script with Voice Impressions fundraiser. I am Adrian Brown, and I will be reading for you the B-Movie Script with my normal voice. But if anyone donates to AME's GoFundMe for Patterson Music Project, which is ameministry.com in the description link, then you will get two pages of the B-movie script in your decided character's voice uh, randomly. That's right. If you donate $5, I will spin the appetizer wheel, which is right here, and it will land on either Larry the Cucumber, Pepe the King Prawn, or Bobo the Bear. Or if you donate $10, I will spin the main course meal wheel meal that will land on either Kermit the Frog, Winnie the Pooh, or Goofy. Well, that's right. And if you donate $50, I will spin the dessert wheel, which has some combo twists. So it will land on either Stewie and Brian. Oh, I wish it would be us. Yoda, oh, spin it for me, you must. Or Patrick and SpongeBob. SpongeBob, I'm so excited. Or... If you want to donate $200, this is if you are absolutely crazy, there will be some improv twists featuring Homer Simpson, Peter Griffin, or Roz from Monsters, Inc., depending on which one is spun. So I hope you all have your popcorn bags. I know I do. And let's begin. I will first be starting off with a request that was made by Dr. Jason Sa of AME, and he requested that Kermit the Frog go first, and then Larry the Cucumber for pages one, two, and three, four will do. All right, starting with the B-movie script, I will have the GoFundMe link already 
on my tab on my computer so that I can see if any of you donate on the spot. And feel free to type in the chat if you've donated. I've donated, and then I will check to see if you've donated. So remember, and I will say this again too throughout, but it's $5, $10, $50, or $200 for your beloved characters right here. So I will get this open and keep on refreshing every two pages. Let's begin. I need for this my lovely Muppet strap because my friend here, Kermit the Frog, is going to read first. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway. Because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. We're shaking up a little. Yeah! Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello? Barry, Adam. Uh, can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. I uh, use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry. I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All bees. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Bye, Kermit. Bye. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Uh, hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A uh, little. Uh, special day, finally graduated. I never thought I'd make it. Three days in... Grade school was three days in high school. Oh, man. Uh, Kermit, those were awkward. Three days in college? I'm glad I took a day and hitched how I hacked around the hive, you know. Uh, you did come back different. Hi, Barry. Uh, already growing a mustache? Looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to his funeral? No, I'm not. Everybody knows. You sting someone, you die. Now, Dr. Jason's second request is Larry the Cucumber. So, again, if you are tuning in for the first time, welcome everyone to the B-Movie Script with Voice Impressions Fundraiser. I will be reading the B-Movie Script with my normal voice, but if anyone donates to AME, go fund me for Patterson Music Project, amministry.com in the description, then you will get two pages of the B-Movie Script in... Uh, character's voice. That's right. If you donate $5, I will spin the appetizer wheel, which will land in either Larry the Cucumber, Pepe the King Prawn, or Bobo the Bear. And if you donate $10, I will spin the main course meal, which will land in either Kermit the Frog, Winnie the Pooh, or Goofy. That's right. So you better spin for me, Maxi. Uh, I'll give you 10 so that you can do so. Okay, Dad. If you donate $50, I will spin the dessert wheel, which has some combo twists, so it will land on either Stewie and Brian. Uh, oh, Brian, that would be wonderful if we got picked. I know, that would be really exciting. Yoda, uh, with his backwards voice, this is included, so his backwards voice is actually included. Uh, yeah, you must spin for Yoda, you must. Or Patrick and SpongeBob. SpongeBob, I'm so excited for this fundraiser. Me too, Patrick. Yeah. And if you donate $200, this is if you are a crazy person. I'm a crazy person. I'm a crazy person. I'm a crazy person. All right, Patrick, that's enough. But if you donate $200, there will be some improv twists with Homer Simpson, Peter Griffin, or Roz from Monsters, Inc., depending on which one gets spun. And 
grab your popcorn because we are in for a treat today. Dr. Jason had a second request, one more, and it is Larry the Cucumber. So I will resume reading the B-movie script in Larry the Cucumber's voice. But before I do, I'm going to refresh the GoFundMe and see if we have any new donations. Let me see all donations. We do not have any new donations yet, so we're going to continue with Larry the Cucumber. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Uh, boy, uh, Larry, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Bob, today we are men. Oh, we are? Uh, Larry, I thought that we were vegetables. Oh, I mean, well, Bob, today we are vegetables. We are. Uh, be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buswell. A welcome New Hive City graduate class of uh, 915. And that concludes our ceremonies. And begin your career at Hunnix Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard, Larry, that it's just orientation. Heads up. Here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it will be like. A little scary. Welcome to Hunex, a division of Hanesco and part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow. Wow. We know that you as a bee have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is an automatically color corrected, scent adjusted and bubble contoured into this soothing sweet syrup with his distinctive golden glow you all know as Honey. Oh my, Larry, that girl was hot. <laughs> She's my cousin. She is? Oh, I'm embarrassed. Uh, Bob, you're already red. All right. But yeah, we're all cousins. Okay. So at this point, if you are new to the stream, welcome everyone to the B-Movie Script with Voice Impressions Fundraiser. I will be reading the B-Movie Script with my normal voice, and my name is Adrian Brown. It's so good to see all of you. I will be reading the B-Movie Script with my normal voice, but if anyone donates to Amy's GoFundMe for Patterson Music Project, ameministry.com in the description, then you will get two pages of the B-movie script in one of these beautiful characters' voice. That's right. If you donate $5, I will spin the appetizer wheel, which will land on either Larry the Cucumber, Pepe the King Prawn, or Bobo the Bear. And if you donate $10, I will spin the main course meal that will land on either Kermit the Frog, Winnie the Pooh, or Goofy. Well, that's right. Uh, so you better spin for me. If you donate $50, I will spin the dessert wheel, which has some combo twists. So it will land on either Stewie and Brian. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, Yoda with his backwards voice. A spin for Yoda, you must. Or Patrick and SpongeBob. SpongeBob! I'm so excited! Me too, Patrick! Nah. Or if you donate $200, this is if you are crazy. I'm a crazy person! I'm a crazy person! There will be some improv twists with Homer, Simpson, Peter Griffin, or Roz from Monsters, Inc. So, let's get our popcorn, and let's see in the chat, we have a chat from Professor Brown, which says, hello, Amy Admin here. We just received a $5 pledge for Pepe the King Prawn. Oh my, this is a fun character. Updating on GoFundMe now. Wonderful. So if we reload, that will show. And we also, yeah, that, that's uh, great. So we'll do a spin for Pepe. Uh, for five dollars. Uh, so we are at page about six. So let's let's get started. Right. 
You're right. At Honex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence, so yeah. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Uh, not enough, uh, Pepe. Here, we have our latest advancement, the Kremlin, oh yeah. Uh, what is that to Pepe? Uh, the Kremlin gets that little strand of honey that you can never get from the jar, oh yeah. That hangs after you pour it. It saves us millions! Uh, can anyone work on the Kremlin, oh yeah? Anyone's? Anyone's want to work on the Kremlin, oh yeah? Of course, most bee jobs are small ones. But bees and king prawns know that every small job, if it's well done, means a whole lot. But choose carefully, oh yeah? Because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life, oh yeah? The same job the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference, Oga? They'll be happy to know that bees and king prawns as a species haven't had one single day off. Unbelievable, Oga. In 27 million years, Oga. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try, Oga. Well, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that, Oga? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved, oh yeah. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? You told him, and I told him, but how could they never have told us? Why would you question anything? We're bees. Oh, uh, Pepe, you're actually a king prawn? Oh, I mean, we're king prawn, though, yeah? We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Uh, give me one example of that, Pepe. Uh, I'll give you one, oh yeah. Uh, it is, uh, it is, uh, I don't know, oh yeah. But you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Fourth approaching, oh yeah. In approximately, uh, what do we have, uh, Bobo? Uh, it's approximately uh, two minutes, uh, but I need to eat my mayonnaise sandwich uh, first. Uh. <laughs> Eh, uh, Bomba, you're getting a little chubby, oh yeah? Uh, can you, like, cut loose on the mayonnaise? No, because I, I need my calorie deficit to decrease. Wait a second. Check it out. <laughs> hey, those are pollen jars. Wow, oh yeah? I've never seen them this close, oh yeah? Unbelievable. These must be the fat ones. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't really come back. Hey, Jax. Hi, Jax. Hey, that was creepy. Okay. All right. Uh, that is wonderful. So now, for those of you who have joined for the first time, welcome everyone to the B-Movie Script with Voice Impressions Fundraiser. My name is Adrian Brown, and I'm so happy to be reading the B-Movie Script today with my normal voice. But if anyone donates to AME's GoFundMe for Patterson Music Project, ameministry.com in the description, then you will get two pages of the B-movie script in whatever character's voice you spin. That's right. If you donate $5, I will spin the appetizer wheel, which will land on either Larry the Cucumber, Pepe the King Prawn, or Bobo the Bear. That's right. So donate for us because my boss will fire me if you don't. And if you donate $10, five, five, I will spin the main course meal, which will land on either Kermit the Frog, or Goofy, uh, not including Max, of course, because he's just mean. If you donate $50, I will spin the dessert wheel, which has some combo twists. Ooh, combo twists. So I will spin the dessert wheel if $50 is donated, and it will land on either Stewie and Brian, Oh, Brian, what a wonderful treat. I hope that uh, Peter guy is in here. Yeah, I'll be getting close to the end, actually. Yoda with his backwards voice. <sighs> Yoda, you must vote for it. You must. Or Patrick and SpongeBob. SpongeBob! 
am ready. Or if you donate $200, there will be some improv twists. With Homer Simpson. Yeah, of course. And Peter Griffin, of course. And who else? Horvath from Monsters Hack. And somebody would be crazy to have to donate $200. So uh, it's just safe to say that uh, we're... We're probably not going to get that because uh, that would have somebody would have to be crazy, and, and you guys aren't crazy enough to do that. So, everybody, get your popcorn, and I will be refreshing the GoFundMe now to see if we have any more funds right now. All right, and I saw the one that came in before for Pepe. That's very great. So I will keep on going uh, with my normal voice, uh, which is good for a change. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. And guys, please donate because uh, this will get boring if I continue to do this with my normal voice. You'll get used to it way too soon. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, that's more pollen than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. It's like a status symbol. Bees make too much of it, perhaps, unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies, aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at these two. A couple of hive harries. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah. Once the bear pinned me against a mushroom, he had a paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me back and forth. Oh, my. I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing this whole time? Trying to alert the authorities? I can't autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry! A puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. Uh, we're going 0900 at J Gate. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Hun X, Dad, you surprised me. <laughs> you decide what you're interested in? Well, there's only one, a lot of choices, but you gotta make only one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you something about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what, making a balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stir. You're going to be a stir? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have for you. All right. So for everybody new, welcome everyone to the B-Movie Script with Voice Impressions Fundraiser. I will be reading the B-Movie Script with my normal voice. And I'm Adrian Brown, by the way. So good to see all of you. So I will be reading the B-movie script with my normal voice. But if anyone donates to AME's GoFundMe for Patterson Music Project, aameministry.com, in the description below, then you will get two pages of the B-movie script in one of these characters' voices. That's right. If you donate $5, I will spin the appetizer wheel, which will land on either Larry the Cucumber, Please pick me! Pick me, Bob! Pick me! Peppy the King Prawn, you better pick me on huh? or else I'm making bologna sandwiches for lunch. Or Bobo the Bear, uh, you better not have my boss fire me again. Or if you want to, I will spin them, I will spin that wheel and one of them will get picked. And if you want to donate $10, I can spin the main course wheel that will either land on Kermit the Frog, Poonie the Pooh Bear, or Goofy. <laughs> And if you donate $50, I will spin the dessert wheel, which has some combo twists. 
combo. So it will land on either Stewie and Brian. Oh, that's right, Brian. I can't wait for that. Yoda with his backwards voice. Choose Yoda, you must. Or Patrick and SpongeBob. SpongeBob, do you think I'm going to get picked? I'm ready. Or 200, if you're crazy enough, to do Homer Simpson, Peter Griffin, or Roz from Monsters, Inc. So everybody get your popcorn bags, and I will be checking the chat right now and our website right now. All right, so we have a $10 donation. Woo! For Hogwini at the pool bear. All right, so if we reload our gun fund me, I see, I see the $10. So let us get into it, uh, Pooh Bear. Uh, all right, so let's pick off where we left off. Oh, if I could say anything right now, I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Oh, let's open up some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax and save my antenna. <laughs> oh, Tigger, shuck up with a grasshopper, and uh, I think I'll get a gold tooth and call everybody a dog. I'm so proud. Who was starting work today? Uh, today's the day, Piglet. Uh, come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Oh, yes, all right. So pollen counting, a stunt bee, a pouring stir, front desk hair removal. Is there still anything possibly available? Uh, hang on, buckaroo. Uh, two left. <laughs> One of them is yours. Oh, I mean mine. I'm a very little brain, you know. <laughs> Congratulations. The step to the side. What will you get? Uh, I got picking the crud out, Pooh Bear. Oh, Stella Rabbit. Oh, wow, couple of newbies. Yes, sir, a first day. Who oh, we are ready. Make a choice. You want to go first? Uh, no, Pooh Bear, you can go. Okay, oh dear, who oh, do bother? Oh, what's available? Restrooms attenders open, but not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krellman? Sir, you're on. I'm sorry, the Krellman just closed out. Works Monkey's always open. The Krellman open again. Oh, what happened? Well, Pooh Bear B died making an opening, see? He's dead, another dead one. Deady, deadified, two more dead. Dead from the neck up, dead from the neck down. That's life. Neck, I mean. Ooh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stunt bee, pourer, stirrer, humming, inspector, number seven, lint coordinator, stripe supervisor, mint wrangler, a berry, what do you think I should? Barry, Barry, oh, bother. All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there by the distance. Oh, no. I have to. Before I go to work, the rest of my life are making honey. <laughs> but that does sound awfully sweet. You're gonna die? You're crazy! Hello? <laughs> Another caller coming in. If anyone is feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey, guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw the dusty yesterday? Think, think, think. Hold it, son. Flight decks restricted. Oh, bother. Hoo -hoo. All right. So if you are joining this live stream for the first time, 
Welcome everyone to the B-Movie Script with Voice Impressions Fundraiser. My name is Adrian Brown. I'm your host for today, and I will be reading the B-Movie Script with my normal voice. But if anyone donates to AME's GoFundMe for Patterson Music Project, amyministry.com in the description, then you will get two pages of the B-Movie Script in a character's voice. Ooh, that's right. If you donate $5, I will spin the appetizer wheel, which will land on either Larry the Cucumber, Peppa the King Piranha, or Bobo Bear. Uh, that's right. Uh, my mayonnaise sandwich is not included in that. Or if you donate $10, I will spin the main course meal, which will land on either Hermit the Frog here, or Goofy, Maxie's not included because he didn't get dressed enough. Yuck. Or if you donate $50, I will spin the dessert wheel, which has some combo twists. We're going to do our combo thing again. Ooh, combo. So we'll land in either Stewie and Brian. Oh no, with this backwards voice, you must. Or Patrick! SpongeBob, are you ready? I'm ready! Or if you donate $200, there will be some improv twists with Uber Simpson, Peter Griffin, of course it's me. I need to lose a weight though. Or Ross from Master Zick. I'm watching you, Azaski. Always oh, watching. So get your popcorn ready, and I will check the chat, and I will also check the GoFundMe. Scanning the chat to see if there's any honey. I mean, if there's any donations. We got a ten dollar donation. Woo! For Goofy. <laughs> I can't wait. Let's get started right away. It's okay, Lou. We're going to take it up. Really? Really lucky, are you? Sign here, here, just in this lap. Sign here and there. Hey, yeah. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, boys and goofs, Cannot fly in rain, so be careful. And as always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. <laughs> also, I've got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in home because of it, babbling like a cicada. That's awful, Dad. Maxie, I said that you're not involved in this. This is my role. And as a reminder for you rookies, we law number one. Why, absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Buzz, 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 yuck, buzz, yuck, buzz, yuck, buzz, yuck, buzz, yuck, buzz, yuck, buzz, yuck. Buzz, Dad, are you okay? Well, there's a lot of buzzing going on here. Buzz, yell it. <laughs> oh my, I didn't expect that many. Buzz, yell it. Buzz, yell it. Black and yellow. Yellow, yeah. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, 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 just bring it on. Wind check. Antenna, check. Nectar pack, check. Wings, check. Stinger, check. Slayer down of my shorts, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. <laughs> yup, all of you. Drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So boo. I feel so fast and free. Box kite, wow. Flowers. This is blue leather. We have roses visual. 
bring it around 30 degrees, land hold. <laughs> yeah. Roses, 30 degrees, Roger, bringing it around. And that concludes my short script. Okay, so if any of you are watching for the first time in history, welcome everyone to the B-Movie Script with Voice Impressions Fundraiser! I will be reading the B-Movie Script with my normal voice, but if anyone dares donate to AME's GoFundMe for Patterson Music Project, that is amministry.com, in the description below, then you will get two pages of the B-Movie Script in a beautiful character's voice. That's right. If you donate $5, I will spin the appetizer wheel, which will land on either Larry the Cucumber, Pepe the King Prawn. We got to do their voices, though. Larry the Cucumber! A Pepe the King Prawn, oh yeah. Or Bobo Bear, okay? Without the honey mustard mayonnaise sandwich, okay? Just the water. Or if you donate $10, I will spend the main course meal, which will land in either Kermit the Frog here, or Winnie the Honey Bear. I, I mean Winnie the Pooh Bear. I just so love honey. Or Goofy, we've already been through this. <laughs> yeah. Then those characters will spin. But if you donate $50, I will spin the dessert wheel. Mm, who does not love dessert, right? Which has some combo twists. Everybody do it with me now. You know how it goes. Combo. Ooh. It will land on either Stewie and Brian. With his backwards voice, Yoda, you must. Or Patrick. SpongeBob. I am ready. Or if you donate $200. There will be some improv twists with Elmer Simpson and Peter Griffin. Who else? And nobody else is here. All right. All right. Now, everybody, get another bag of popcorn. This would probably be your eighth bag of popcorn right now. So get another one. And uh, we are going. I'm not promoting too much popcorn. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we are going to see the chat. And the GoFundMe to see if anybody donated. Do, 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 do. We have some new ones here. Okay, so so far we had here Kermit the Frog, uh, Goliath the Orange Pickle in the chat, Midgel in the chat, Thanos in the chat, uh, my mom in the chat, uh, Bridget in the chat, and Audrey in the chat. And those are the ones that I've seen so far. Uh, welcome everyone. So uh, let me check now the fundraiser. Okay, so I I got the goofy one just now. Okay, but no other ones right now. So it's just going to be my normal voice. So if you don't want my normal voice, please donate. <laughs> and my normal voice will get boring after a while, so just warning. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over there, maybe a dash over there, a pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen flower. More pollen, more flowers. More nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Could be my AME shirt. Uh, don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again, you're reporting a moving flower? Uh, affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, uh, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. Uh, kind of like Adrian's ukulele. Hmm, yeah. I I do seem to grab onto it sometimes. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain, get off there. No, just kidding. Uh, problem, guys, this could be bad. Affirmative, very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. 
You are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Yowzer. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him. Granny, shh, what are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get in home. Oh no, it's raining. I saw bees can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. It really is raining. Maybe, maybe, bee going down. <sighs> Ken, could you please uh, open the window? I mean, close the window, please. No, we don't want it open. Ken, could you please close the window, please? Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see, folds out. Oh no, more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time. 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 Drapes. That is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top 10 favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. All right. So for those of you who are new, welcome to the AME B-Movie Script with Voice Impressions Fundraiser. I am Adrian Brown, and I will be reading the B-Movie Script with my normal voice. But if anyone dares donate, whoops, if anyone dares donate to AME's Go fund me for Patterson Music Project, amyministry.com. Link is in the description. Then you will get two pages of the B movie in your favorite character's voice. That's right. If you donate five dollars, I will spin the appetizer wheel, which will land on either Larry the Cucumber, Pepe the King Prawn, or Boba the Bear. Or you could choose your characters, because a lot of you like to choose them, and that's fine as well. So if you donate ten dollars, you can either choose Kermit the Frog. Winnie the Pooper, or Goofy. If you donate fifty dollars, right, five tens, I will spin the dessert wheel, which has a combo twist. Ooh, combo twist! So it will land on either Stewie and Brian. It could, with his backwards voice, land on Yoda. You must. Or Patrick and SpongeBob. I'm ready. And if you donate two hundred dollars, if you're crazy enough, then there are some improv twists with Homer Simpson, Peter Griffin, of course, who else? Uh, Ross. So now, get out your popcorn, bag number nine, and we will check the chat and the GoFundMe to see if there's any new donations. There is Goliath, the orange pickle, donated ten dollars. For Kermit, but do the regular Kermit and the gang style Kermit. So for those of you, that's an inside joke. That is actually the new Kermit the Frog voice and the old Kermit the Frog voice. So let me see the GoFundMe and reload. And I see another 10. That's wonderful. So now we're going to do two versions of Kermit. The first page in his normal voice and the second in his uh, new voice. Can't fly in rain. Oh, wait. We already did that part. Uh, let me just scroll down here. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I'd say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. Yeah! At first, I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. Be... Stand back, Fozzie. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have any less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? 
I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. And now, there was requested uh, by Goliath the Orange Pickle, uh, Kermit the Frog's new voice. So this is now Kermit the Frog's new voice. Knocking someone out is also a very special skill. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt night? Sure, Ken. You know, whatever. You could put gang chips on there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I've got to say something. All right, here it goes. Nah. Wait, that's the old voice of Kermit. You're not involved here. This is the new voice. Really? I'm the old voice right here. And I am the new voice from 2020. What would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a B-law. You're not supposed to talk to a human, especially a human that's involved in a gang. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, no. Do it, I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's no good. All right. Welcome, everyone, to the B-Movie Script with Voice Impressions Fundraiser. If you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Adrian Brown, and I will be reading the B-Movie Script with my normal voice. But if anyone dares donate to AME's GoFundMe for Patterson Music Project, ameministry.com in the description, then you will get two pages of the B-Movie Script in a character's voice. That's right. If you donate $5, I will spin the appetizer wheel, which will end, land on either Larry the Cucumber, a Pepe the King Pranaya, or Bobo the Bear. And if you donate $10, I will spin the main course wheel that will land on either Kermit the Frog here, Winnie the Pooh Bear, or Goofy. If you donate $50, you can either choose Stewie and Brian, with those backwards voice, Yoda, you must. Oh, Patrick! SpongeBob, are you ready? I'm ready! Or if you're crazy enough to donate 200, you could do Homer Simpson, Peter Griffin, of course, or Raz. And I see Dr. Jason just joined. Hello, Dr. Jason. I have to do some of Kermit and Larry for you because I know that you've requested that one. So I will uh, do that as a bonus right now. <laughs> I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dana, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny, uh, Kermit. Yeah, it is, Larry the Cucumber. The bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway, uh, can I get you something? Uh, like what? Uh, I don't know. No, I'm actually not talking to you. I'm actually talking to my girlfriend, uh, Kermita. Uh, can I get you coffee? No, I, I don't want to put you out there. It's no trouble, Piggy. It takes two minutes. Wait, actually, your name changed from Kermita to Piggy because I wanted it to. It's just coffee. Oh, uh, I don't think that she, yes, she hates to impose, though. Yes, I do. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup, uh, but I need to get the phone right now. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> the phone's ringing. Uh, Larry, can you take over? Uh, yeah. So, uh, hey, you want some rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. Come on. No oh, help. Yeah, no, I'm going to get the phone. Hold on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Uh, where? Those stripes don't help. Uh, Kermit, are you okay? Yeah, hello? Hi, pizza? I would like to order some uh, pizza. Yeah, some pizza hut. Thank you. Bye. All right. 
So welcome everyone to the B Movie Script with Voice Impressions Fundraiser. I will be reading the B Movie Script with my normal voice, but if anyone donates to Amy's GoFundMe for Patterson Music Project, amyministry.com link in the description, then you'll get two pages of the B Movie Script in one of these characters' voices. That's right. If you donate $5, I will spin the appetizer wheel, which will land on either Larry the Cucumber, the Pepe, the King Pranoya, or Bobo the Bear. Oh, for that one, I need water. <laughs> or if you donate $10, uh, you can either choose Kermit the Frog. Uh, oh, yes, you're very welcome, Dr. Jason. <laughs> you are very welcome. Uh, you can either choose me uh, for everybody else, Bethany the Pooh, or Goofy. And if you donate $50, I will spin the dessert wheel, which has some combo twists, so it'll land on either Stewie and Brian, with his backwards voice, Yoda, you must, or Patrick and SpongeBob. I'm ready! Or $200 if you're a crazy person. Uh, but none of you are crazy enough to do that. But if you were Homer Simpson, Peter Griffin, of course, and Ross. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a workout. So, get your popcorn bags ready. It's not open, but that's fine. <laughs> and then I will check the chat to see if there are any donations. And I will now check the GoFundMe page. And I will do so every two pages. So, if you, you know, are trying to rush, don't worry about rushing. Just, just uh, do so before 3 o'clock because 3 o'clock is when we're done. All right, we have 10 minutes left. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's reload that GoFundMe page. Okay, I uh, yeah, none right now. So I'll just read with my normal voice. Uh, there we go. And uh, my normal voice is good for once in a while, so that's fine. Where? Those stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you all right? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on and he says, watermelon. I thought you said Guatemalan. Why would I marry, marry watermelon? Oh, is that a bee joke? It's the stuff we do. Not the best joke, but it's the stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what do you do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way that they want. I know how you feel. You do? Oh, sure, sure. My my parents, you see, wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, uh, there's my hive right out there. See it? Here in Sheep Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the Turtle Pond. No way. I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their uh, toes anyway? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. Uh, you all right, ma'am? Oh, yeah, uh, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. <laughs> anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Oh, yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. <laughs> Are you... Uh, can I take a piece of this with me? Sure, have a crumb. Thanks, yeah. All right, well then, I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again for before. Oh, that? That was, that was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway. This can't possibly work. He's all set to go. Uh, we might as well try it. Okay, Dave. Put the shoot? Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans. I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and scary. They, they talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive crazy. All right. Uh, welcome, everybody who is new. 
I see Matthew. Uh, welcome everyone to the B-Movie Script with Voice Impressions Fundraiser. My name is Adrian Brown, and I will be reading the B-Movie Script with my normal voice. But if anyone donates to AME's GoFundMe for Patterson Music Project, ameministry.com in the description. Then you will get two pages of the B-Movie Script in one of these characters' voices. That's right. If you donate $5, Ah, uh, you can choose either Larry the Cucumber, Pepe the King Pranaga, or uh, Bobo the Bear. And if you donate ten dollars, I will spend them. I will actually no wheels. You can actually choose Kermit the Frog, the Pooh or Goofy. And if you donate fifty dollars, I will spin the dessert wheel which has some combo twists. Ooh, everybody say it with me. You know how this goes. Combo twist. Ooh. Which will land on either Stewie and Brian. Oh, Brian, this is going to be so much fun. Or you can spin on your own quest. Or Patrick and SpongeBob comes with me. I'm ready. Ah. Or... Since it's only five minutes left, the 500, the 200, I mean, dollar one is only going to be $5 now, okay? Lowering it down to five in the last five minutes. So you guys might get to hear the crazy voices now. So there's a huge discount. So this will be $195 off. So for $5, you can do either Homer Shipson. Uh, Peter Griffin uh, from Family Guy. Or Ross from Monster Zig. Everybody, get your popcorn bags ready. And let's see the chat and the donations. We have $5 for Peter Griffin. Woo! I never thought we'd make it. Okay, wonderful. And I see that right now. So... Let's continue where we left off with Peter Griffin from Family Guy. Do they try and kill you, like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How do you get back? A poodle. You did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can pick up your job and be normal. Well? Well? Well, I met someone. You did? Was she bish? A wasp. Your parents would kill you. No, 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 no. Not a wasp. A spider. No, I'm not attracted to spiders. No, I know it's the hottest thing with the eight legs and all. And uh, even hotter than Lotus. But I can't just get by the face. So who is she? She's a human. No, no, no. That's a bee law. You wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh, boy. Uh, she's so nice, and, and she's a florist. No, oh, no, you're dating a human florist? Uh, we're not dating, technically. We're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes. With power washers and M80s, one-eighth a stick of dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands me. And this is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? And they call it a crumb. It was so stinging stripey. And that's not what they eat. That's just what they, that would falls off of what they eat. You know what a Cinnabon is? No. It's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. You see? Because uh, that would be a Stewie. Uh, th th we're us. They're us. And there's them. Yeah, but who can't deny the heart that's yearning? The heart that's yearning for, for donuts and for, and for beer, you know? I really like a cup of beer every now and then. Except my glasses fall off every time. You know, that stupid glasses, you know? It's just you're bugging me all the time. You gotta start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. Thinking B, Stewie. Thinking B, Lotus. Thinking B! 
All right. So our last two minutes. If you want to donate, you better donate now because welcome everyone to the B Movie Script with Voice Impressions Fundraiser. I will be reading the B Movie Script with my normal voice. And my name is Adrian Brown, by the way. So good to see all of you. And I will be reading the B-movie script with my normal voice, but if anyone donates to Amy's GoFundMe for Patterson 2 Music Project, we have two minutes left, in amyministry.com in the description below, then you will get two pages of the B-movie script in a character's voice. That's right. If you donate $5, I will spin the appetizer wheel, which will land on either Larry the Cucumber. You can actually choose, by the way, what character you want. Pepe, the King Prano, huh? Or Bobo the Bear. Uh, and if you spin for $10, uh, if you donate, I mean, you can get Kermit the Frog here. Who can hear the Pooh Bear? I, I forgot my own name. Oh, bother. Or Goofly. Yeah, you'll have to be Goofly enough in order to pick my... Or if you donate $50, $50 has a dessert wheel, which has some combo twists. One last time, everybody. We're going to do the combo twist for one last time. Combo twists. Ooh, combo twists. If you donate $50, you either get, uh, you can choose, you can choose Stewie Griffin, or, uh, and that includes Brian as well. Yes, it includes me as well. Or for fifty dollars, if you must donate, you can donate for Yoda. You must. Or you can choose Patrick. SpongeBob, are you ready for the last two pages? I'm ready. Ah! Or for. Now, remember, we reduced the 200 one. So for $5, because it's the very last two pages, very last minutes, for $5, the Golden Buffet Wheel will include Homer Simpson, Peter Griffin, Ross from Monsters Inc. Everybody, get your bag of popcorn. This would be like your 11th or 12th bag of popcorn. I lost count, but that's okay. Get your bag of popcorn, and we're going to be checking the chat. If you have donated it, and if I did not see it yet, please type right now in the chat, and I will give you some time right now to do so. I'll be refreshing the GoFundMe page five times to make sure. Three, four, and I'll refresh it one more time now. Five. Okay. And anybody else is making a pledge of a donation in the future? Going once, going twice, going three times. Okay, so the last two pages will be in my normal voice which is a good way to end it. Thank you all so much for the encouragement for coming on. Wow, this has been so much fun. And uh, we have two more pages left of my normal voice. So uh, let's let's actually switch it up now. Now that, now that we're in the last two pages, let's do all the characters' voices at once, okay? So I'm going to go just go through each character every single line right now. There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking, B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working, perhaps, with some honey involved? I got a lot of big life decisions to think about. Yeah. What life? You have no life. Uh, you have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you, would it? To making a little honey, would it? 
a would you must? Come out, you must, Barry. Talking to you is your father. Marty, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything? All set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. <laughs> Watch this. Uh, Vanessa, are you still here? Uh, I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to me yelling. And why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, but I gotta go. Lotus is waiting for me. Where are you going, Wazowski? I told you to never come back. I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide, Bob? Bye. I just hope she's beish. Uh, they have a huge parade of flowers every year in Panacea. T uh, to be in the tournament of roses again, huh? that's every florist's dream. A berry boat surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament? Uh, do the roses compete in athletic events? Or just uh, events that have mayonnaise sandwiches in the counters? Uh, no, all right, I got one. Uh, how come you don't fly everywhere? Oh, well, then. Uh... Well, that is because it is uh, very exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see, I see. <laughs> All right, your turn. But Devo, you can just freeze live TV. That's insane. You don't have that, Stewie? Uh, no, Brian, but we have Hivo, but it is a disease, a horrible, horrible disease. Isn't that right, Winnie the Pooh? Oh my, a dumb bees. Dumb bees always getting into my honey. You must want to sting all of those jerks. Uh, we try not to sting, you know. It's usually fatal for us. Right, SpongeBob? Uh, yeah, so you basically have to watch your temper. Very carefully, you must. Take a walk, you must, and kick a wall, you must. Write an angry letter and throw it out. Yeah, you work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, uh, that other word that's not really that appropriate. Let's move on. Oh, my goodness. Are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anyone. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save circular? Yes, it was. How did you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. I can't believe that is it. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, you have all been such an amazing crew. And, uh, yeah, this has been extremely fun. Every year for AME, all the fundraisers that you guys make and that the admin and students make is just you know, is so like amazing to come together uh, for a good cause too, for Patterson Music Project. Uh, and it's uh, very good what they're doing, you know, to to support these children, you know, like to, to learn music, to get their instruments and to be in an ensemble together in unity. So it's really a blessing. All right, everyone. Well, uh, this has been a wonderful time and uh, take care everybody and God bless, okay? All right, I'm gonna end the stream now. Bye, everybody. Bye. Uh, and remember, uh, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Okay. Uh, bye, everybody. I'm going home again to eat my skinny popcorn again. Peace out.